Hi everybody, it's Meredith from Caridad and I wanted to give you an update. Some people have been wondering what we're doing. Um, I'll try to make this short and sweet, but this past year was really a rough year for us. We had our outreach contracts cut um, and retroactively we had one cut, so we weren't anticipating that. Um, that was with the City of Las Vegas and thank you to De Castro Verde Law Group because we settled that out of court and so we are no longer in contract. Um, but because of that and because we went for such a long period without payment, we had money stored up, but we burned through those reserves. So we had to lay off all staff last year. So we are no longer doing street outreach services. And while I was really upset about that, and so was the team, they have stood by me. So thank you to Joe and Alex. They still kind of help when they can, um, even though they are currently on unemployment or not on the payroll but also the board redirected me and said, you know what, at the end of the day, we can do the best at street outreach, but our best month, we only, with the help of our community partners, were able to house 10 homeless people. That's not enough to move the needle. We have thousands of people, uh, over a thousand actually, on our uh, housing waiting list. And so that isn't enough to make an impact. So the board said, we need to change what we're doing. We need to work on a new strategy. So that is when we came up with the garden project because of our friends at Ferguson downtown. Uh, thank you guys to the Ferguson's team. Uh, but they have a beautiful garden pod. It's called a freight farm and it's a shipping container. So you can do indoor hydroponic gardening and it is in place at 11th and Fremont at the back wall of the bunkhouse. And so they have purchased it. It has been sitting there and they connected us to a farmer who is volunteering to help uh, try to tried to do that on her own and it just became a labor of love. It was just too much. She couldn't get volunteers to help. She couldn't get support. So Crystal um, is our farmer that's going to be a part of that team. And so they said, you know what, we want to partner with you. We'll still own the farm, but do you think this could be a homeless jobs program? And we said yes. So the Fergusons and Caridad have become uh, partners on this new deal. And Crystal is our new farmer. So thank you, Crystal. We're still going to have Joe and Alex as a part of that team. I reached out to my friend Shalimar at US Vets um, because they are the closest um, in proximity to where the garden is and I said hey do you think this is something your veterans could benefit for and she said absolutely so it's gonna be a farm garden therapy um, job reintegration program for veterans at US Vets they are super close in proximity I don't even think they're a mile away I should know this but they are very very close for those of you from Las Vegas um, that's it 11th and Fremont and then the veterans coming from US Vets are at Las Vegas Boulevard and Bonanza. So it's super close in proximity to the project. I'm excited about that. So the veterans from US Vets will get trained on how to do gardens and to be professional farmers. And we'll train them with other job skills. We'll have uh, a booth at Market in the Alley once we get going. We'll sell herbs to the local restaurants in downtown. We've already talked to them, got some invoices. And with the help of our partners at Zappos who donated We've gotten about $20,000 in grants and funding that we've raised so far, but Zappos helped us do a mapping, a budget map and projections to see how much it would actually take to get us started because we know once we pull the switch on the farm, we won't be able to go right away. So they said we probably need to raise about $60,000 more to make this viable, so that's what we're working on right now. So we are temporarily shut down until we raise 60,000 more. Alex from my team and I have been doing grants, um, but if you hear of any garden grants, please let us know. I'm also gonna put up a link. We still have our 10 by 12 campaign. So if you can give $10 a month for 12 months, you'd be amazed at what we can do with that money, but that will all be going towards our project. And I just have to say thank you to the board, to Alex, to Joe, to Crystal, who's our new farmer. Thank you for just sticking with it because there was no money and your intentions are totally pure and you have helped me because it has not been easy to be on this temporary shutdown. But I'm excited to get back up and going and I'm excited for something new that hasn't been done before and I'm excited to partner with our friends at US Vets to start this new project. There's so much more to it and I will also post a link for that. But if you wanna give, um, please, 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 please give. But those of you, and I'm catching up our donations for the year, those of you that have already given, um, whether it be on Facebook, on, um, 
on our 10 by 12 campaign or also on PayPal. I want to say thank you so much because you've literally made it so we could be sustainable because all of our funding um, was cut this past year and we have been able to cover our expenses um, to keep the lights on and Joe and Alex are wonderful. I don't know what I'd do without them. So I'm thankful they're, they're coming on for this next chapter of Caridad 3.0 because we had uh, Caridad San Diego, which was socks and underwear drives. Then we had Las Vegas when we moved here six years ago and that has been outreach. And now we're gonna do the garden. So I'm excited for things to come. It's not the end, but I want to let everybody know that's where we're at. We're trying to raise $60,000. So if you hear of any grants, if you hear of any funders that are into gardens or garden therapy, um, let us know because we wanna get this thing started as soon as we can. I really would like to get it started within the next month or two. So thank you. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for caring. Thank you for clicking on our posts. Um, please spread the word. Um, we're excited. So that is what we're working on. And oh, before I forget to thank you to Naya, um, who's our volunteer. She just turned 15, but she created our logo. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, everybody.